cabinet people. So today is September 1st. Water's 84 degrees right now, 83 back in that one cove I was just in. And so we back out this afternoon. We're gonna do a little crappy fishing. Now you can notice it's fairly cloudy. So I'm anticipating those crappy not to be hugged tight under the docks. We're gonna fish some docks, maybe some bridges. Uh, we'll fish around and see. But anyway, hey, let's go catch fish. I'm gonna ease up here, see if we can catch a crappy on this dock. And so I'm gonna start out with the ghost, Kalen's ghost, eighth ounce head. Well, these crappy may be shallower today. It's about 84 degrees, looks like. And uh, so we're gonna start out with this and see what happens. Oh, I got bit immediately. Just gonna skip that lure and now since that's an eighth, I'm gonna move it a little, move it towards me just a little bit so we'll see if we get bit. Boom, there he is right there. Got, got a bit right there. It's a little small. A little small. Not even quite what we're looking for. We can get you back under there again. And that went a long ways. I'm a little afraid about that and getting hung. Now, fish got it and run me around something under there. So let's try that again. This is a little better right here. Oh yeah, I might put that in the pot. He laying on back up in there. About nine and a half. I think we're gonna have to keep him. We kind of want a little mess of fish. I'm just watching that line again, watching it sink, looking for it to go slack, twist, feeling for a bump, and I'm just allowing that lure to sink through the strike zone. So anytime you come to the lake, let's look around. So it's important to be able to read the bank line and to get a good idea about which side of the lake it's deeper or what side is shallow, shallower. So one of the reasons uh, those crappy like to hang out on that dock is because the bank is just like this. And so when they stage out 20 or 30 yards from that steep bank, it's just, it's just like them staging on the vertical structure. And then of course the dock provides a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of vertical structure for them to hide in too. But I wanted to point this out. So my, uh, my chart on my Garmin says that the creek channel comes down this side. And I tried to mark it a few weeks back. And there is no depth change for the creek channel there now because it's filled in. This lake was built, I think, in the 50s. And so that creek channel has filled in over the years. Now I can go further down the lake and I can find a defined creek channel or river channel, depends on what kind of lake you're fishing in. So uh, I like to fish on the side that the creek channel's on because that's a deeper side. But I want you to look at this bank and I'm gonna point this out. See how steep that bank is coming off? And as I found this particular dock, I fished along this side and just about where those two docks are that I've been fishing and catching crappy, the bank went from this to almost vertical. And I noticed that I was fishing on this side where the creek channel was, and I noticed that deeper side, so I switched and came over here. 
and I start catching those fish on the deeper side. So just remember, as I look around this cove here, it's a fairly deep cove here, look at those deeper sides and it, and it applies to deeper water on that side. So if you don't have a depth finder and you don't have any good graphs and you can't read where the creek channel is, just look at how the bank slopes and that'll give you some idea about how the creek channel runs. Now normally through a flat, the creek channel will run just like this all the way through, but it will have a tendency to stay to the deeper side. And if I turn, this is just a note, I don't want to take up too much time. If I turn, there's a deep bank along there. So that tells me that that creek channel probably goes against that bank and comes around the side. Now I hadn't charted that, but just me just looking at it, that's what it tells me. So hey, just remember that when you go to the lake. Well, I'm difficulty skipping that lure. Oh, I'm gonna get him out from under there. That's another one. Another little one. Another little one. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up and go to a sixteenth. Want that presentation to fall just a little bit slower. Bass. A little bass. Boom, oh, see the line jump? Oh, that's a bit better one right here. At least he act like he was a little better. Well, he's not that big. About an eight and a quarter, eight and a half inch crappie. Looking for something a little bit better than that. Hmm. Another bass. Bass are active today. I just throw that right off the front. Now that's a six, that's a sixteen. So that's going to sink a lot slower. It gives a slower presentation of a fall. And sometimes if it's crappy or not, or not aggressive, you can give that slow presentation or that, that like a dying minnow falling and it'd be a little more productive. You know, it's funny, uh, sometimes you come and you can fish minnows and flip a minnow over there and, and by the time it hits the water, it's gone. And sometimes you can come and fish minnows and they won't hit it. I think uh, other week we were here and uh, the jig was just out fishing the minnow three or four to one. And uh, sometimes it's just like it. It's like the fish want to chase something. Look y'all, look at that otter laying up there. You see that? Cutting up now. 
Old bass. We thought we had a good crappy on, y'all. Good gracious. We had old good crappy on. Let's see if we can get that out of his mouth. They're an auto laying up there. Y'all see that? I hope y'all seen that. They're an auto laying up under there like a dog. Hitting at it, they're not eating it. So, what's up, guys? So, we're getting ready to end this video. It's completely dark. We just got back to the boat ramp. Uh, I knew I couldn't end this video out on the lake, it was just too dark. Warm enough light. All in all, it was a good afternoon. Um, we caught a few decent sized crappie. Most of the crappie were on the smaller size, and we just began to move around the lake trying to find some bigger crappie. Hey guys, I hope you saw something in the video you enjoyed. I hope you saw something that you learned. Hey, and as always, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.